Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today our topic is diff util for Android Recycler View. Diff util basically a uh, powerful and a smart way to update the items of Recycler View. Before saying anything about diff util, let's see what is the problem we are going to solve today. Have you ever faced any problem like you have a Recycler View and that Recycler View has a lot of list items and when you scroll suddenly the recycler view starts flickering sometimes it shows up a hiccup while scrolling the user just finds trouble to scroll the recycler view and sometimes when the user moves moves back his finger the recycler view scroller gives a big jump either way these situations are quite frustrating so this brings us to the question how can we get rid of this flickering issue and provide a nice and smooth user experience of Recycler View? Well, we will discuss it later. First, we will retrospect how Recycler View works and how the Recycler View items behave when the dataset is changed. And then we will uh, see how a small changes like uh, using a diff util can hugely improve the performance of our Recycler View. First of all, I would like to say I have tutorials on Recycler View in my channel. Uh, there I have shown how to make a simple Recycler View from scratch. I also have shown how to implement click listener on the items of Recycler View. I will use those as reference and now let's talk about how Recycler View actually works. Our app has a list of car objects. Each car object has title, description and image icon. We built an adapter called car adapter. Adapter uses three functions get item count, on create view holder, and on bind view holder. Then our adapter exposes to a view holder class named uh, car view holder. The view holder do a very important task. It holds the reference to the views that you need to display a recycler view item. In our case, the car item. Recycler view uses this view holder to keep track of things like the last position that the views, uh, views were drawn and scrolling. After putting all together, Recycler view uses a Recycler adapter to draw a list of our objects. And you see that Recycler view is working when, our, when you run the app on your um, phone or emulator. Well, imagine uh, the recycler view is on the screen and a list item is suddenly changed. Although in our reference code base, the list items are static, but let's pretend our list item uh, data are coming from a web server. So the situation is a data item is changed while the recycler view is running on the screen. In that case, we use notify dataset changed function on our adapter to tell the recycler view that uh, our data has been changed but there is a problem with notify dataset changed notify dataset changed tells recycler view that the entire list is potentially invalid this is true even if the item that has been updated is not even on the screen right now notify dataset changed causes a lot of changes in recycler view this can be really expensive especially when our list items are complex and long do you remember the flickering issue I told uh, you at the beginning of this video? That's because it takes long time to create all items in a recycler view. Here comes diffutil as a savior. Diffutil basically tells recycler view exactly what has been changed. Recycler view can then be clearer and only draw the changes needed to update any views that change the on screen. Diffutil does this by calculating the differences between two lists. Diffutil takes an old list and a new list and figures out what is different. It will find items that were added, removed or modified. Once Diffutil figured it out, Recycler view that can then update only those items. Because the Recycler view only updates the changed items, it is much more efficient than drawing the entire list. Well, enough talk, let's jump into code and make our diffutil working. Let's open our Android Studio and go to the 
our this video in my channel recycle if you click listener kotlin and click here and grab the code Car grab the code okay grab the code from the source code for this uh, tutorial just download this code and open this code in uh, android studio actually today our focus point is totally on dfutil so we will not um, uh, create a project from scratch we just show uh, the what dfutil can do to our project okay and first thing we do we will run this uh, run this app and from emulator we can see the couple of uh, car list uh, a recycle view who is showing some uh, car data and if we click there we go to the um, uh, detail activity okay so now we add uh, the our dfutil in our card adapter so we go to our card adapter just to, for a quick look we uh, already have the uh, on our card item click listener and the uh, on create view holder and on bind view holder so we will create a class name uh, first of all dfutil has a class name item callback which will uh, which will uh, differentiate the old list and new list just i have said earlier so first we create a class for that and we create the class at the very end of this um, car adapter class okay outside of the car, car adapter class so the name will be class car dfutil and it will be diff util dot item callback this is the uh, class and it has a generic type the type will be uh, the data class the data class we are using and the cars we are so it will be our uh, argument so it will be cars and then then this class has um, two we need to override two functions so it will be they will be our items the same and another another function is our contents the same okay first we take the example of our items the same our items the same will be fired when a list item just consider this mercedes uh, this li list item may this is in the uh, third adapter position position so any so it could be removed from uh, the list just consider uh, we are using the um, static value static okay let me show you the uh, activity where is the data all data are uh, static here but just uh, imagine that data is coming from web or any sql uh, database and it is possible for a user to delete a data or add a new item in this position so when this position related things are changed then the r items the same it will be fired okay so how we can it's so simple that we return old item dot now what will happen so it's depend on our data class so our data class has name description and logo so generally uh, two cars car company doesn't have the same name so we can just uh, differentiate all our cars from the name so we just we just uh, mm, uh, we just uh, differentiate uh, this two list item with their name property so it will be name if you have id if you had uh, if i have id i could use the id no matter what uh, we are doing just to uh, just we should remember that uh, it can be uniquely identify any object of cars class okay so equals as it is a cars class so we can uh, we can sorry as it is a data class so we can um, uh, compare to object so it will be old item dot name be new item dot name that's it and our contents the same it will be fired when the contents in a list item is changed say it is good car it sometimes uh, anytime it could be a bad car any contents and uh, contents name or content if the content is changed then this um, function will be fired okay so it will be 
we've done old item equals new item okay so our car diff util class is done now we will uh, do one more thing diff util uh, provides us the advantages of uh, using list adapter rather than recycler view adapter so how is that let me uh, press enter and it will be list adapter list adapter by the way list adapter is a subclass of adapter uh, with some extra facilities okay so list adapter and it will uh, take two more um, one more uh, argument it will be cars the model class of our cars and it will take another parameter uh, as a constructor uh, the it will, uh, the constructor will be the car diff util class we just created okay so just copy it and paste it inside the bracket all right and i think it will be okay. then we do not need the get item count anymore we just uh, deleted it now our adapter is ready to make a difference between two lists and uh, update the recycler view okay but we have to do one more thing where we need to tell uh, we need to submit the list and for this we have a function name submit list which we will call from our main activity okay then we will first delete this uh, array list cars from here I list cards from here and go back to main activity and here we see recycler dot adapter card adapter car list this as we have deleted the car list item already there so we delete it here and we create a variable so it will be var adapter and it will be car recycler car recycler dot adapter and as our this car adapter okay it will be car adapter and then we will apply the submit list which is very easy that uh, adapter dot submit list and the list we will submit uh, the car list here so it will be car list so going back to our car adapter uh, class and here we need some modification it says the items dot get position as we don't have items the list adapter has a uh, more defined function name get item so it will be get item position okay and we are done now we let's run our app from our emulator let's open our app and we got the recycler view so the uh, recycler view items are basically same but we have done a very uh, huge performance and we have done very uh, a, a huge performance on recycler view and using by using the diff util well um, you cannot see that uh, difference right now because um, our list items are very small only a couple of items there if the items are large you can see uh, the update uh, you can see the uh, performance and also uh, all data are static so in the upcoming uh, in my upcoming uh, tutorial i will use mvvm so uh, and the uh, data will come from the sqlite database rather than every list and that time you can measure the performance and one thing blew my mind that uh, we uh, seen in the Android developer android.com in the diff util they are saying that 100 items and 10 modifications average time is 0 0.39 millisecond median is 0 0.35 uh, millisecond which is this is ridiculously low um, time to modify 10 items in 100 it items and this is diff util actually is an awesome uh, feature for the recycler view and i think uh, we should use everybody should use uh, diff util in the recycler view all right this is all about our video tutorial today and uh, if you like the video please uh, smash the like button and if you have any question or suggestion please write in the comment box 
and subscribe if you don't subscribe yet see you in the next video thank you